feed and we have a great surprise. Uh, Vidit, uh, he thought that his biggest challenge of the day was defeating Alexander Fredke, but no, now he has to survive the interview as well. Uh, after a marathon game, we are thrilled and greatly honored uh, to have Vidit in the studio. Vidit, welcome. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much for joining us after a difficult game. How are you feeling? Thank you. Uh, I just feel amazing. I mean, uh, to win such a strong event, uh, as, as I was saying, I arguably, I think one of the strongest opens ever held. So to win it uh, and in such a fashion, uh, can't really put it in words. Yes, very big congratulations from my side as well. We, did, we have been with you right from the start. We have witnessed your heartbreaking loss to Erwin Lamy. We were rooting for you ever since then. We saw your bounce back against Gupta. You were on the right track. Please tell us what goes through your mind winning seven games from the, the ten, last ten games. Thank you, Peter. Uh, it's so nice to speak to you uh, because Every time, like if I have a good tournament or something, I go back and watch what you said about the game. So I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, your comments and you as well. Um, so regarding the games, I mean, I was, of course, very upset after the first game, naturally, because the way I made the mistake. And uh, then probably I was just playing. I wasn't really thinking about the tournament until I won the game against Sindarov uh, because at that point, I became uh, the sole leader of the event. And then, you know, all the thoughts about tournament winning started to come. Uh, first of all, the main goal was the candidates. Winning the tournament, uh, I wasn't really thinking, honestly. Um, it's a good byproduct, I would say. Vidit, let me ask about your opening choice in the last game. I thought it was an incredibly astute choice of opening against Predke. There were so many variables, uh, Hikaru's game, and you know there were different schools of thought for what you should play. How did you go about choosing uh, this Queen's Gambit accepted endgame against Preke? What was the process of mental and over-the-board preparation like going into the last game? Um, I was very happy about my game yesterday. I felt actually more pressure in that game than today because a must-win game with black pieces against such a solid player like uh, Diak, it was not easy. So I felt more pressure there. And because I won in such a good way, I was very happy about my game. Uh, so I had a lot of positive emotions coming in today. Uh, and regarding the opening choice, uh, I was surprised that Redke went for QGA. Although he had played this against Vincent in the tournament, I wasn't really expecting it. Because, um, I mean, he it's a very two-results position. Uh, and he had such a good tie break, I thought he would go for something more fighting. And I saw his games in this tournament and he was playing a lot of, uh, let's say, Sicilians. And he was playing them well. So I was surprised that he went for this. And I thought against him, it's a good choice uh, to go for this end game where I can put some pressure. Um, and it worked out well. So can't complain. Yeah, one question about from the chat. People are already very excited from your qualification for the candidates. And the question is, when will you start your preparation for the candidates? What are your plans? Um, I, I, I don't have any tournaments lined up, any big events. Uh, I have some small events that I'm playing. So I guess I have a lot of time to prepare. Uh, and just I the thing is, you know, Let's say you um, make a chocolate pudding or a chocolate pie, you know, you prepare it, you put it in the oven and finally it's there ready. You don't start preparing another one. You enjoy that first. So I will let this uh, feeling stay with me, you know, enjoy this win uh, because it's not so often that you get to do that. And after a couple of weeks, when I'm in a better mindset, I'll start thinking about candidates. Not allowed. You must start preparing tonight. You may not celebrate. <laughs> the work must go on. Uh, one more chat question, Vidit, from three burner phones, two potets. Okay. Um, will Vidit consider Anish as his second for the candidates? Obviously, I guess Anish himself could qualify via the ra the rating circuit. But what is that process going to look like once uh, once the cake is consumed? Um, I mean, Anish will definitely qualify. I mean, not definitely, but he has very good chances to qualify. Uh, Although I do like his company, uh, but 
I wouldn't really keep him as a second, uh, even if he doesn't. <laughs> uh, because I'm also hoping that he does. You know, he's a good friend, so I hope he qualifies. Yeah, wow. I, you know, I'm so happy for you, Vidi, that ever since you beat me in, uh, in Beal in three consecutive games in 2019, I felt like, okay, come on, you have to do it. You have the power. It's so nice to see you there. I'm, I'm so happy for you. So the best of luck for the candidates. Thank you so much, uh, Peter. It means a lot coming from you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to watch your games, Vidit, and uh, you're, you're such a class act. I think everyone in the chat is, is thrilled that you won the tournament. You have definitely earned some celebration time. We will let you go and uh, enjoy the moment. Big congratulations. Good luck in the candidates, and we look forward to seeing you thrive. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.